Well, howdy, YouTube. Unky Joe here, Unky Joe's Playhouse. Today, I was contacted by a company called Tonar, and they sent me something to evaluate. So, let's get to that video right now. So I gotta hand it to Tonar. I really like the packaging uh, for this microphone. It comes in a nice black box with a gray and and light blue lettering, and yeah, it's just a nice box. I, I like to see companies spend a little time on their packaging. I know most of it ends up in the trash, but you get some freaks like myself that like to display their boxes on a shelf behind them. So it, it it's nice when you have a pretty box to show it off in. But I digress. Now, right on the front upper right corner of this box, it tells you it has a two-year warranty on this microphone. And uh, I guess uh, we'll go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. Oh, it's so exciting. So exciting. There we go. So as you can see, you've got an instruction manual. You've got a warranty service card. There's some healthy foam in this box. It's a really well-made box. There's the pop filter right there lovely you definitely get the feeling this is not a cheap you know one of these little cheap things uh, just look at the foam in the box it's you know it's designed to protect this microphone so there's a small dent in the windscreen but that'll you know it'll work itself out in a few days don't be too concerned about it everything's packed neatly into the box and like I said or may not have said, uh, the unit comes pre-assembled and ready to use. So there you go. Let's get this thing out of the box. And here's the unit all set up and standing on its own. Uh, I'll give you a side view of it. We've got a nice fluffy windscreen on the top. You know, a lot of times you pull things out of a box and they just feel cheap. I don't get that impression from this. Um, so uh, I know originally when this thing came out, it was going, you could get it for prices as low as $30, but now it's gone up to $40 at the time of making this video. So be aware of that. Um, you're going to pay a little bit more for it than you would have a few months ago. Now, I'm not recording uh, using that microphone yet. We will do that in a minute, but I just kind of wanted to show you how this microphone is set up. So it comes with a little collapsible stand okay uh, this you can also remove it by unscrewing it here and then it'll go on a normal uh, microphone arm down there right there now the cable is permanently attached to this unit as you can see there's no way to remove it and uh, yeah now the way they show you to set it up the front of the don't make the same mistake I did when I got this when I get this microphone you see the label there see how the back doesn't have one yeah I was talking into the back of the microphone like an idiot it was like why isn't this thing got any gain and I come to find out that you're supposed to talk into the front of the microphone now it's really odd the way they have this tripod set up now it's fully adjustable of course and you can, you know, you can even spin this part around a little bit on the bottom here. But you have to kind of loosen it up yet to get it in there. Anyway, the point is, they show you this is how to configure the microphone. So, with this sitting out in front of you and then this being lined up here, that's how they show it on the setup. However, I don't like it that way. I like it this way. I like the... I'd like the front of the mic to be up here. You can see, and the stand is behind you. So I'm going to flip it around. All I do is take it out of the little. It's got a little uh, carrier in here, which is basically a bunch of rubber bands. But I think that looks. I think that looks better, don't you? And that more functional with that in the front. And then that way you can tilt the microphone back and forward, and then you can bring the pop filter around. Uh, which is completely adjustable. So that's what would be facing you then. And then you can take this off. You can unscrew the pop filter 
and remove it if you don't need it. Same way with the uh, windscreen on the front of the mic. You can remove it, pull it off, and show you what it looks like. So there you go. Now, one of the limitations of this microphone and the specifications is it's only 44 kilohertz. That's what it records in. So uh, the, the, the deep, rich sound I get from this uh, Blue Yeti microphone is going to be quite a bit different than the Tonar. And you'll hear that when I hook it up and we start using it. Now, it's also got a nice, long USB cable. That'll, there you go. Nice and long. I'd say that's, what, six foot? Maybe eight feet? I don't know. I don't know how long the cable is, but it's pl plenty long enough. For example, I'm gonna when I plug it in, I'm going to plug it in a USB port on the front of the computer. Now, another nice thing about this is it's plug-and-play, unlike plug-and-play in the past, where you plugged it in and prayed it worked. This one, you just plug it in, it loads the drivers automatically. It doesn't need a driver disc or anything like it. Uh, let's see, it's a very simple design, and it's really it's set up like this right out of the box. I mean, you know, how much more could you ask for? Now, the price, <clears throat> there's where I have a little problem. The price for this microphone is $39.99. Now, I'm the king of cheap. For a microphone such as this, I think the, a better price point would be $29.95. But I'm not the one who sets the prices. I think once you start getting the $40 range, I don't know. Maybe you could have a gain control on the front. Because you notice this thing doesn't have any way to adjust it via hardware like a, you know, a standard microphone would do. Well, that's not true. You usually do them through mixers, but um, yeah, I think $39.99 is palatable, but again, I'm the king of cheap. I would prefer it to be $29.99, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, it's, it's really a single user mic. It's got a cardioid pattern, so it only picks up like this in the front of the microphone, and uh, so you need to be aware of that. So if you have people behind you or in front of you or to the side of you, they're going to need their own microphone. It's not going to pick that up very well. Um, I also had to set the gain on this. You do that through Windows at about 100%. I'm also going to set it to 90%, which is what they recommend when we do the sound test. And you'll hear that. You, that way you can hear the difference. Yeah, now if you keep in mind, if you keep it on your desktop, uh, just like with the Blue Yeti, you hear that? I really need to get a microphone stand. Uh, because I'm constantly banging on the desk. And the, the Tonar is no different. It's going to pick up all that noise. So, All right, so let's actually hook it up and see what it sounds like. All right, so here we are now at the Tonar mic. I'm sitting about, oh, a hand's length away from it, sitting right in front of me on the table. Let's see what kind of noise we get when I bump the table. There you go. Now, I only have the volume level set to about 90% because that's what the manufacturer recommends when you set the unit up. So um, here I am sitting normally away from the microphone, as I would do if I recorded any other video. Here's my sultry sounding voice when I get up really close to the microphone. Um, it's pop, 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 pop. Let's do the P-pop test. P-pop test? I don't want to pee pop, but anyway, pee 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 pop 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 pop. So that's with the pop filter and the windscreen in front of it. So now let me take the pop filter away, moving it to the side here. Take the windscreen off. It's gonna get a little noisy. Oh, there we go. So there's the bare microphone. Pee 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 pop 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 some popcorn in the pee pop pop popcorn pee pop. Okay, so let me change the gain on the microphone uh, in Windows, and then I'll come back and do another test. So now I'm sitting at the same distance. I've jacked the volume level up to 100, and uh, it's not peaking out my meters, but it's getting pretty close. Uh, it's starting to look a little bit more like the Blue Yeti does when I record with it as far as the volume level. I'm still sitting my normal distance from the microphone. I do have the pop filter on. And I do have the windscreen on. So what I'm going to do this time, uh, I'm going to move the pop filter away after we test it. So pop, 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 pee, 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 popcorn, pretzels. Get your popcorn. Get your pretzels here right now. Pop, 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 
possibility of pickled peregrines on my party hat make me positively sad. There we that was a good one, right? All right, so let me mute it and let's see uh let's see what happens when I move the uh pop filter. Hold on. All right, so there we go, the bare naked mic, and I'm actually tilting it and pointing it toward me. And so no pop filter, no uh, no windscreen, no nothing. Um, just to see how it sounds at 100% volume. So, uh, peep, pop, 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 popcorn, peregrines, penguins, pollution, property, positively pissed <laughs> i don't know what to say i'm trying to think of all the p words so i can see if this thing is popping uh and if the the pop filter and the windscreen make any difference so uh but i'll have to come back and listen to this and see how the audio sounds now i don't know about you but i listened back to the recording and frankly i say no to this for for me for my circumstances and no to oh it's gonna get loud hold on let me mute this i'm sorry and no to this and I'm gonna tilt the microphone up a little bit so it's pointing right at my face and uh, yeah I think this sounds better so $39.99 on Amazon I'll put a link down in the description when I get done with the video here um, yeah I think it's a I think it's a really good quality mic uh, for what you're paying for it I, I again I thirty dollars is my price point for this mic but it's a forty dollar mic it's what they're asking for it it does come with the stand it does come with the windscreen and the pop filter there are some limitations to this microphone it's not as uh, as high a caliber as a, a higher price mic but um you know uh there's just not enough oomph behind it uh, enough rich deep bassiness uh like the blue yeti or the other microphones even the other condenser microphones i have but will it work okay for you if you're just starting out or if you're gaming, that kind of thing? Sure. I don't see why not. You just, you probably don't want it on the desk because it's going to pick up all that noise. Like I said, the other microphones that are triple the price of this microphone have a deeper, richer bass and they're a little throatier. Is, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. But again, those mics are three times more expensive than this. So they're in the $120, $150 range. Um, you, you, know, you can go into several hundreds of dollars for a microphone, but if you're a simple YouTuber like I was a few years, years ago and just starting out, and you can't afford something like the Blue Yeti, this would be an excellent choice. And it's got everything you need right in the box. So uh, it also comes with a two-year warranty from Tonar. And, uh, you know, it's funny, when I, when I started doing a little research on this microphone, because I've had it now for nearly a month, uh, I mean, there are so many videos out there on this 777 mic, uh, and all the reviews are fairly good on it. Um, I don't think I came across a single negative review, and nor is this one. Uh, I, I think it's a good microphone for the price. So thanks to Tonar for sending this out to me. Uh, and I think what we're going to do is, uh, uh, one of these days I'm going to do a live stream again. It's just I've had some health issues and some work issues. I've been very busy. So we're going to try and do another live stream again here very soon and get back to our Saturday afternoon live streams. And I think what we'll do is we'll have this microphone in a giveaway so that uh, we can give this microphone to somebody who, who might be able to make some use out of it because uh, uh, I'm going to be getting a different setup for my workstation behind me. So keep an eye out for the next live stream we do, and I'm sure we'll do a giveaway on this microphone. So thanks again to Tonar. For sending this out to us and making it available uh, but we will be be doing a giveaway on it so there you go youtube we hope you found the video entertaining and informative as always please smash the like button subscribe hit the notification bell leave comments in the comment section do da do da you've already subscribed but donate if you're so inclined paypal patreon and the join button on youtube you have a plethora of choices so pick one and help support this channel if you find our content entertaining and informative. Come back and see us again. Tell your friends about us. And don't forget, we'll see you 
on the other side.